Hey everybody, I've got my wonderful friend here, Linda from Lubbock. You recall that I stayed at Linda's for a week. If you're new to my channel, you don't recall, but when I moved across the country, November of 2020, I stayed at her place. She's got a small vineyard with her own label in Lubbock. And I came here and planted nine grapevines and I didn't, beyond just weed blocking and planting them, uh, we didn't do anything last year. So it needs to be, um, I don't know what to do, you know. So she's gonna actually give me some advice right now. She's almost out the door on her way back to Texas and Gosh, that's squishy. I bet there's moles or voles or something down here. So the kitties are hanging out here. There's Tiger. And that's um, Spot up there, right there. <laughs> here she comes. She's got the clippers and she's gonna demonstrate what I need to do with all of these nine vines. Linda, I'm recording. Say hi. Oh, hey. <laughs> this we're we're going to make some more vines. That's right. Oh, oh we're going to yeah. make more vines. Okay, yeah. cool. So what you want to do? You want to count your buds. You want to go one, two, three, four, five. And Professor Reed from Texas Tech taught me this. Okay. And Professor uh, Reed from Texas Tech. Okay. And he is no you longer with it? us, but he was a darling man. And then what, what you want to do is you want your buds to go down. So when you bury them in soil, mm -hmm. the green will grow underneath the ground. In, in a root? The, it'll root out? Well, it'll start budding. Okay. Won't root. Oh, okay. It'll start budding. Okay. And then, uh, then when you pull it out in the spring to plant it, you mm -hmm. do, you put it in the ground like that. Oh, okay. You can use a rooting solution. Uh-huh. Or you can, uh, you know, put it in the ground and just watch it. Okay. You know, and then later on, you can plant it in rows. But you get the rooting the first year going. Okay. Variety grapes? I can't remember. Yes, okay. I do have different. And they used so, to be marked, but um, I don't see the marks anymore. Well, we one of those over there is... care about it, or what do the, you They're all do? table grapes. They're okay. not, not for wine. So, so here... Again, you've mm -hmm. got one, two, three, four. Okay, you just have four there, but we're going to go ahead and take it. Okay. Okay. So we're going to do See, one that's for green. Me. So it's starting. It may be time to start cleaning. But, uh, you want to do this while it's dormant. One, two, three, Gosh, four. I'm, okay. Okay. So Gosh, you have three new vines right here. Wow. Okay. And. Uh, so you're going to cut a lot of this anyway, so you might as well use them to... You see that thing? It, that vine goes all the way through the fence. Yeah, I noticed that. I'm just going to try and get it loose a little bit. Because, yeah, that's a really long one. So some of these you can start training this year. You want to keep them as straight as possible. Okay. So you really don't want this crook here. Oh, shoot. Okay. That's all right. So when you get one of these posts, mm -hmm. just, just, you know... Do it like that. Do a post for every vine? Yes. Oh, okay. Because I was thinking I was supposed to do a post on the end and yeah, run a I wire across. Yeah, I so much of this stuff at home. I should just send it to you. Okay. Because some, some of it I'm not using. Okay. And then... Um, just tell me what I need to do right now, anyway. Okay, right now, just count the buds. But you, when you bury them in soil, mm -hmm. you want to have the bud facing down. You okay. don't want it like this, because then when you take it out, it okay. rips the bud. Okay? Got it. Okay, got it. Oh, I know. But so I it, also think it grows that way. I think there's... So this is... What is this process called when you, you're budding it underground? Um, you are just making more vines. Okay. Yeah, you're just... Uh, okay. That's how they transplant them. Okay, great. So I'm going to have so, one for each vine so I can have different varieties. Go over to all of them. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. So. And all I have to remember is the cut end is on the top. And to. Well, you can kind of tell how the buds are going down. Exactly. You can tell when it's. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. That way. Yeah. Even if you. And you bury it but, into, into but soil. But I will how say, do you, how do you, I will say, and mm -hmm. I didn't, and I forgot this part. 
he let's would, get in the light so we can see what you're doing okay he would do like a big slant on it so you would know oh i see okay okay mm -hmm. and then the then a blunt on the top part okay okay so then you you know maybe sometimes it gets difficult to tell mm -hmm. this way it would not be difficult okay super so you see the difference i've got five vines right there okay and then we'll go get this little guy okay okay one two three four five okay and i cut it slanted okay so then we know great okay uh-huh so okay. can I put all these in one pot or do yeah, they need individual? It's exactly what I do. Okay. I just bundle them with a string. Oh, I see. And just stick them in. Oh, in potting Cover soil. them with dirt. Okay. Okay. So they're all buried. In so there. should it, should the cut end be buried too? Yep. Okay. The whole thing. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So I think we've got all your vines. Did we do these two? Uh, I thought we started with that one. Are these two the same though? That's what I I don't know. Saying. Um, I, I thought I tried to mix it up, but I, I don't remember. And unfortunately, we'll do this. Okay, so now I think you have them all. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay, I'm right. going to bundle it, stick them in the ground, and then about And when? you literally just bundle them. Put a string around it, stick it in the ground. So maybe when you're ready to plant again in mm -hmm. April, mm -hmm. stick them in the ground. Okay. Or get a rooting solution uh -huh. if you can do that. You may need to buy that early because I know in Texas I've, it sells out pretty quick. I've got rooting hormone. So, okay. Yeah. Well, so what I would, if you look at this rectangle, what I was thinking of doing, I had my helper put cardboard all the way around it so I could keep weeds back. Yeah, this is awesome. And yeah. But what I could do is I could do that again. Exactly. Move the fence exactly. back and put if you just when move these this rows. fine to here. Well, I wasn't going to move the vine. I was going to. Okay. I was going to have um, the walk around space around the outside. Sure. Yeah. And maybe put another row. That's a great idea. Okay. So the bent trunks you do not want. You want to have a much more stable post, and you want them to grow straight. So you uh, want the. the did, did I mess the it up? I mean, no, is it still no, redeemable. It's still very su supple and new, and you just don't want it the leaves to start sprouting out because that's when it's harder to train it okay so like that's probably why weeks, i didn't do it last the next few weeks <laughs> go ahead and yeah yeah that's probably why i didn't do it last year yeah, exactly <laughs> and i'll see about getting those posts sent to you because i've got a plethora of them fiberglass post oh i know what you mean yeah yeah you had the green careful. ones uh mine are not green okay yeah linda said i can just do it right now in this pasta pot yeah because it's not going to be in there that long and it's okay if it's outside? Yeah. It's where you want it. Okay. Well, I'm happy to get this done now. So we'll do that. Hey, Tiger. I'm Hi, just baby. trying not to hit your bulbs. That's why I'm hitting it on the side. Sure. You know? Mm -hmm. I yeah, think it was... Obviously getting some roots out there. I think but... it was hostas in that pot. Okay, so just... Be easy about it. Okay. And what was the professor's name again? Uh, Professor Reed. He's so sweet. Mm -hmm. He and Doc McPherson started the wine industry in Texas. So oh. they were really cool guys. And uh, Kim McPherson makes our wine. He's second oh. generation. Oh, wow. And... Um, they got it legislated. They were agricultural guys. They figured you could grow it, you know. So they were. They really got it going. Very instrumental. Wow. You'll see when you pull this out in a month, you're like, wow, it has buds. <laughs> okay. You must have a lot of hostas in here. Yeah. It was pretty intense. That's why I was, I was going to get you a different pot. But... That's all right. It's not long enough, uh, is it? I'm going to have to dig a little more. Hang on. Okay. okay. So now we're going to dump all this dirt back in. Okay. Oh, and I, I, I buried it with the buds upside down. Reminder. Mm -hmm. And uh, so those little, see, you can see the little angled branches. Okay. I need to cover that too. Do you have more dirt? Yeah. Um, uh, anything in there. Those are empty. Yes. Yeah. You don't care? Mm -mm. Okay. 
we're just going to dump it on top. That was one of my cranberry hibiscus failures. <laughs> <laughs> Came in handy. Oh, well, I thought I could get it through the winter, and it just, I okay. don't know, it rotted. So there you go. Roots You're rotted. all buried in there. Wow, fantastic. So when you go to unbury it, uh, you'll see that the beds are turning green. Okay. And then you flip it and root it. I think that's it. I flip yeah. it and root it, meaning um, so you turn the buds when I'm where they're growing it, up when yes. I'm planting. Yeah. I don't have like to like that slanted side is what you would put in your rooting material. Okay, got it. Right, right. Don't and need then, that yet. Yeah. And then when I plant it, I plant it. I'm not, I don't put it in a pot first and grow it out. I actually plant you it. You could either way. Okay. Yeah, okay. because you probably want to watch it and okay. make sure it grows and gets green before I commit to having it down to there. planting it. Planting right. it. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay. Fantastic. All right. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Spot. Tummy? 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 Good boy. You want your tummy. You want your tummy. She has her own vineyard in uh, her backyard in Lubbock, Texas, so it can be done. Okay, thanks so much, everybody, for watching this little video. Uh, I know I haven't been on very much lately because... Uh, it's been freezing, snowing, <laughs> sleeting, raining, cold. It's the dead of winter and nothing's going on. But today it's warm and beautiful and I have company. So I wanted to share. So God bless. I hope you subscribe. Uh, share this channel with your friends. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care. Hey, Tiger. Are you enjoying the sun? Oh, yes. That sun feels so good today. It feels so good today. Yes, it does, pretty girl. Yes, it does.